Hi, I'm Nick. In this video, I'm going to talk about having multiple charge controllers charging one battery. There can be several reasons why you have multiple charge controllers for one battery. The first one is that you want to add more solar panels to your system. The second reason is that you want to add a panel with a different specification than the one you already have. The third reason is that you want to separate panels from each other because they receive shade at different times of the day. For example, an east and south facing solar array or a boat. Most people, including myself, thought that multiple charge controllers needed to be able to communicate with each other to charge one battery. You would think that one charge controller charges a battery at 13 volts, so the other charge controller thinks the battery is already full and wouldn't work. However, that's not the case, because the battery doesn't charge a battery based on voltage. It reads the battery state of charge according to the internal resistance of the battery. That explains why it is possible to add multiple charge controllers in parallel to one battery bank. We will wire multiple charge controllers in parallel. Let's say you have an existing solar system with four panels in series, but now you have saved up enough money to add four more solar panels to your system. You can use a second charge controller to add more power into the battery. Charge controllers for lead acid batteries have an equalization or anti-sulfation function. This means that the voltage will increase by 10% once per month or multiple times per year depending on the settings. This can be a problem when you have multiple charge controllers. It can lead to overuse of the equalization function. You need to have only one charge controller performing this function. Make sure you do not oversize your solar system for the battery you have. If you have a lead acid battery, you should not go over 0.2C and for lithium, this can be 0.5C or 1C. Let's say you have a 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid battery and a 20 amp charge controller. This is a great match because 20 amps is 0.2C. This is ideal for lead acid. Now if you want to add a second charge controller that will charge the battery with another 20 amps, you will have 40 amps of charging current. This will increase the temperature of the battery and lead to degradation. In this case you should add another battery in parallel to increase the capacity of the battery. Your battery will now be 12 volts and 200 amp hours. If we calculate the charge current based on the recommended C rate, we become 200 amp hours times 0.2 C equals 40 amps. This charge current is good for the battery. The cables from the charge controller to the battery can have different lengths. It is only that when you have multiple batteries in parallel to the same charge controller, that you need equal length cables. As you can see in this example, charge controller A will shut off a little bit earlier than charge controller B. This is because the wire length is a little longer. Thus increase the resistance. This is not a problem. If you have multiple batteries in parallel, make sure they are wired correctly to maximize current sharing. Check out my video about wiring batteries for more information. You can have multiple charge controllers charging the same battery. Make sure you calculate the C rate of the battery. Charge controllers do not need to be able to communicate with each other. If you have lead acid, only enable equalization on one of them. I hope this video answered your questions about wiring multiple charge controllers for one battery. If you liked the video, please click the like button, consider subscribing, and if you want to learn more about off-grid solar power, Check out my book on the subject.